What is going on YouTube fam? In this video, I'm going to be discussing the stick drift. If you've been playing with a controller console for some time, you're more than likely know what stick drift is and how annoying it can be. We're going to discuss what causes it and how to actually fix it the right way. Now, I've been seeing many videos online claiming how to fix the stick drift. And they include resetting the controller, uh, updating the software, turning the analog sticks, or even blowing inside the controller. Now, does that fix the stick drift? Well, from my experience, most likely it does not. And if it does, it's maybe for a minor stick drift or temporarily, but it doesn't solve the root problem. First and most importantly, we have to understand how an analog stick works and what causes the drift, which we will do in this video. And I will demonstrate on one of my controllers that has a drift if we could fix the issue. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you for everyone that's been supporting this channel so far. We're getting close to 500 subscribers, which I'm really excited for, and I appreciate every single one of you. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button on this video, it really helps out. We're going to connect this controller to our laptop and go to gamepadtester.com, which is a great site to test for drift and overall controller functionality. As we can see, the left analog has a pretty aggressive drift. Even though we're not touching the joystick, it's showing that it's moving. Now, before we get this opened up to fix the root problem, let's quickly try the various different methods I mentioned before to fix the drift. So first, we're going to reset the controller by sticking a pin in the back of it and update it to the most current software update. Um, there's numerous videos online claiming that if you spin the joysticks numerous times and push on the analog stick, that this fixes any type of drifts you have. And you can see those videos by Googling or searching for stick drifts. And lastly, blowing inside the controller, and I'm using a dust blower for that. Now, plugging the controller back into the computer, as expected, it didn't do anything. We still show the drift. To really fix the issue, we have to open the controller and access the analog joystick cube. Here we can see our analog joystick. Now let's dive inside to understand how they function. When you move the joystick up or down, it moves these red and blue brackets in rotation. And each of these brackets are attached to a potentiometer. Their main function is to measure the rotation and precise movement of the joystick. One potentiometer senses left and right movement and the other up and down. Inside the potentiometer, we have a metal wiper that's attached to the white mounting bracket. When the bracket moves, the wipers where it contacts the track changes, which registers the joystick's position and movement. When drifting occurs, it's mostly due to the wear of the potentiometer. Over time, the wiper scrubbing back and forth against the resistance pad creates imperfection. Since we know that the left joystick is the one with the issue, we're going to take off the cap and that's going to expose the analog joystick box. And we see the two green potentiometers, which we're going to try and open these. So inside we're going to see the wipers and the white casing. So we're going to carefully try to get those out because this is the cause of the drift. There's two things you could do from here. Number one is thoroughly clean the resisting pad and the wipers. And number two is to replace the wipers themselves. So we're gonna first try to clean it and test and see if that helps. To clean it, I use a Q-tip and I dip it into isopropyl alcohol and just gently rub the tracks. There could be some debris or some hair or anything that's got in there. It could get stuck and the connection is not proper. Yeah, it's pretty dirty there. Just make sure none of these little hairs are stuck there. And we're going to do the same thing with the wipers. Now, before putting them in, you just want to make sure that the alcohol dries out, which, which could take one or two minutes. When you're placing them back in, make sure you put it this way with these two little dots on the bottom. It's easy to take things apart, but it's not so easy to put them back. Let's try our best. Mm. 
it snaps then you know it locks in okay now we'll test to see if this fixed the issue now i see that now it looks like it got better but still i think the drift is still there yeah it snaps back but then it still pulls to the left so i think it got a little bit better but uh, I think we need to change the wiper, so that's what we're going to do next. I have a spare analog joystick cube that I'm going to use to take out the wipers from these potentiometers and replace it with this one. Uh, now, if you're interested to get these cubes, I'm going to leave a uh, link in my comments and in the description so you could just pick some up. Now, they're pretty cheap. I think they're like 15 bucks for 10, 10 of them or something like that. So let's get these open and replace the wipers. And these ones are easier to open just because they're not soldered to the board. This potentiometer controls the up and down because when we go up and down, this little ball here rotates. And this one controls the left and right. I'm not sure if you could see it, but when we turn it, this ball switches. So this is the dirty one that we were looking at. Uh, this is the issue, but just in case, uh, we're going to change both of them, just since we're here already. As you can see, the new ones, they look a lot fresher and cleaner. Now let's put it together and give it another test. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Well, look at that. It looks like it snaps perfect back into place and the drift is gone. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.